All right, we're back. We're back, we're back with at another it. Another question video with Chef Prime here. What's good, y'all? Thank you, thank you for your time. This should be relatively short because there's only three that I got. Ask away. That's all right, all so here. what are some of the trends or developments that you think will shape the future of your industry? Uh, a lot of the trends, again, is, is really coming from the willful destruction of Hollywood. So you're having a lot of displaced professionals uh, really having a lot of years of experience and no work and opportunity um, in Hollywood. So the transition is going to be going from Hollywood to more streaming services and somewhere through the pipeline uh, is definitely going to hit YouTube. So to have a lot of these professionals with decade years of elite level experience, you know, enter into these other streaming services um, and some of them are going to take more of an entrepreneurial approach because they have to. They're going to get into YouTube uh, and or they're going to come across somebody like me. I'm already building out my team and I would love to have, you know, more professionals added to my team. So, you know, they're going to segue themselves again into YouTube and then YouTube and these creators, all of us, we're going to be powerhouses. And it's something where YouTube has already taken over um, TV, has already taken over um, viewerships from other major media outlets. And YouTube is it's, it's already dominating, but it's going to be bar none uh, a dominating force. And there's going to be so much revenue driven from the assistance of these professionals. And it's gonna be a great year when both Hollywood, streaming, YouTube, and the like combine forces. What are your predictions for the future of industry and how do you plan to stay ahead of the curve? Um, you, you really have to have a clear understanding for uh, the usages of technology. And you gotta put yourself in a position where you can actually predict the next wave of the things that's happening. A lot of people get into business and the furthest their mind can go is on current trends. But there's a very, very small handful of people that know how to predict future trends and I'm one of those people and in order to predict future trends you actually got to understand economics micro and macro economics and I've been saying this for so long in my past videos what is happening in other countries that's going to have a direct or indirect effect on what I'm doing here in this country in this city and if you don't take the time and learn business economics, you are going to just fall into a current trend or a trend that you think is dope, but it's dead or it's on its last leg. So, you know, when, when you're talking about like trending, man, I mean, Staying on top of uh, the technology uses, staying on top of what social media platform is the hottest, what is that platform created to do, is the things that I'm doing could actually work on this particular platform. For instance, I'll give you a great example. I was running YouTube for Next Chef Network and Harry Chef Again podcast, but then I had subscriptions to uh other and i'm not even going to say that the names because i separated myself so i had subscriptions to other platforms that specifically focused on podcast and these companies are dope i i get it you know great but the new thing that youtube did was to create a podcast feature on on their platform 
So in my mind, I'm like, why am I paying a subscription monthly service to these to this particular platform where I could save money? I already have a stronghold on YouTube. They got this new podcast feature. Why not tap into that for free? You see what I'm saying? Yep. So, and I'm not going to go deeper than that because then I'm going to start to get into like, you know, secrets and, and, you know, company secrets. And I don't want to get into what make Next Chef Network on an open forum like this <laughs> great and how we actually got into our position. So I'm going to keep it right there. But you got to, you got to know how to move. Right. What advice do you have for people looking to stay relevant and successful in their careers in the long run? Oh, term. Word, word. Look, look, look. In order to stay relevant, you gotta have what they call a pulse on the market, right? You gotta you gotta understand your industry. And this is where hands on, you know, being hands on in your in your industry. Doing the proper research and due diligence come into play. Uh, you know, being mentored and or talking to more senior level people in your industry all comes into play, plus education. You know, if you want to be innovative, you just can't wake up one day and be like, oh, this is what I want to do. What, what kind of value are you providing your viewers? if everything that you know to date is only at surface level. You can't, you can't take people through any kind of stories or anywhere where the only thing you know is at the surface level and you haven't spent the time in the industry to understand the various facets of your industry. You can't walk somebody through different positions, different things, or what, uh, you know, different key points of your industry. You can't. So just understand, you know, I, I understand that everybody's trying to rush to the, to the million plus dollar mark and they want to be successful. So, so they could, you know, freaking, uh, show off in front of their friends and family or whatever, but it really takes time. You know, you should, in order to be innovative, you got to been there, done that type of thing. You got to know through experience where your industry is going so you can have strong talking points so you can be creative. So you're not thinking that you're recreating something, but that something was already created five years ago. So time and experience, being hands-on, being educated, uh, in your industry and learning how to research and again economic trends what's going on <laughs> well that'll be all for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified whenever get a video gets posted uh, yep and we'll see you that's in right. another video that's right let's go let's rock thank you